Hello, and welcome to session six of the Girl Scouts Spirit of Nebraska Volunteer Enrichment Series. In session six, you will learn about the Honor Troop application, and we'll also talk about the MyGS function on the council website, as well as regularly checking your troop rosters and updating your troop information. My name is Joanne Savicki, and I am the Troop Support Specialist for the East Central Area with Girl Scouts Spirit of Nebraska. I'd like to introduce Zoe May, a Member Support and Troop Support Specialist assisting the East Central and Southeast areas who will be assisting in the chat room. Throughout the session, Zoe will be adding links to the chat so that you'll be able to locate the items that we are talking about. Please let us know if you have any questions in the chat room and we'll get those answered for you. Let's get started. Recently, the Spirit of Nebraska updated their database system. If you missed the email in December to reset your password for MyGS, don't, or please do. Um, if you can't find the email, don't fret. Um, just go to the MyGS link at the upper right-hand corner of the council webpage and click on Forgot Password. When you log in, you will see a new system. With cookies approaching, we ask that you check your troop rosters to see if all of your girls and adults are registered. Also, due to the updates that we did with our database, we have some bugs that we are still working out. One of those is that if a new girl has joined your troop, you might not have received a notification. So we ask that you check your troop roster regularly, maybe even weekly to see if any new girls have joined your troop. We are also asking co-leaders to check their troop information, such as meeting dates and times, when you're meeting, where you're meeting, or if it might be virtual. Um, if you find that the information does need to be updated, please send an email to member support at member support at girlscoutsnebraska.org and let them know the information that needs to be updated. For the moment, you are not able to change the information online. So let's begin the session. The session's main topic is about the Honor Troop application. Any troop can participate in the Honor Troop process. The Honor Troop program recognizes troops that provide a strong balanced program for Girl Scouts at all age levels. It, provide, or sorry, it promotes girl adult partnerships, girl planning, community service, and involvement. Honor Troops are recognized online and in print publications. Each troop receives a signed Honor Troop certificate from our CEO and COO. Each girl in the troop also receives an Honor Troop patch. This is a free patch program, and the Honor, or is, and the Honor Troop application can be found on our council website under the forms section. Now let's take a look at the requirements. Troops must complete all required items, um, and there are 17 of them, so one through 17. Then the troops complete additional items in um, items 18 through 40. We did add one this year. It used to be 39, but it's 40 this year. Each level varies on these requirements. So daisies will complete an additional five activities. Brownies and juniors will complete an additional seven activities. And then cadets, senior, and ambassador and multi-level troops complete an additional nine activities. Other requirements include um, an event may only be used once, uh, completing the activities by June 30th of 2021, and then also entering the dates and other information into the online application by June 30th of 2021. In this pandemic time and going forward, any required or additional items may be completed virtually. Let's talk about the required items. You'll specify the date accomplished in the space provided on the form for each item. In the online form, it will make you write the date. For example, if the date was March 12th, 2021, you'll write 05 
12 and then 2021. So the year has to be all four numbers. So let's get started and take a look at each of the 17 items. So the first one is making sure that your membership registrations were completed online by 930 of 20 for returning members of existing troops or by the first meeting for new troops. Number two, um, this, the troop has at least three registered and background screened adults on their roster. So if you know right now that you only have two adults registered, you still have time. You still have plenty of time to register that third adult. Number three, all adults registered as troop co-leader have completed the required training within one month of the troop starting for the school year. Number four, the troop has established a, and maintained a bank account with at least two authorized signers, as well as the troop support specialist as an authorized signer um, as required by Girl Scout Spirit of Nebraska guidelines. However, if your troop has a Wells Fargo account, you do not need the troop support specialist on the account, just the troop, um, the two troop signers. Number five, the troop has held at least two parent meetings throughout the year, encouraging parents to participate in the troop and fostering good communication and teamwork. Best times to hold a parent meeting are usually the back to school timeframe, cookie season, and an end of year, end of the year wrap up. On our council website, you'll find that there are also parent meeting um, works or parent meeting form to help you plan those meetings as well. The troop has a plan for regularly commute. Oh, number six. Sorry, number six is the troop has a plan for regularly communicating with parents and guardians. Um, number seven, the troop co-leaders offer opportunities for parents and guardians to be involved in troop activities and/or outings. Number eight, a troop planning session has been conducted during the year. Girl interests and ideas are incorporated into the yearly calendar. And so this is great about involving girls in the girl planning process so that they are a part of the troop um, thinking and they have a vested interest in being in the troop. Number nine is plan your year in the volunteer toolkit. Number 10, the troop is represented at two or more of the following volunteer focused events, whether it's at a volunteer or a service unit meeting. Um, or the volunteer enrichment series that we're having online this year due to the pandemic, um, or uh, the volunteer award ceremony, which may or may not be virtual this year, to be announced. Um, 11, the troop has participated in at least one council-sponsored product, product program. All paperwork uh, was submitted and money deposited to meet the deadlines. Um, and this is our for our fall product program or our cookie program. Number 12, the troop has planned and participated in at least one traditional Girl Scout ceremony throughout the year, and parent or guardians have been invited to attend. Sometimes this is called the Court of Awards, or you might have a bridging investiture or rededication ceremony. Uh, those are usually held at the beginning of the year. Number 13, the troop has observed at least two of the following, and these, um, I typically call these Girl Scout holidays. And uh, so Juliet Lowe's birthday, uh, Girl Scout Sunday Sabbath, World Thinking Day, and then Leader Appreciation Day, day um, as well as Girl Scout Week. Number 14, the troop has participated in at least one Take Action service project. Number 15, the troop has participated in at least one age appropriate outdoor activity during the year, and at least one adult has completed explore out and camp out trainings if required. Number 16, um, the troop has completed at least one journey for their grade level during the year. And then finally, number 17, the annual troop finance report was submitted um, or needs to be submitted by June 30th of 2021, which is the same date as the date of the application, the honor troop application is due as well. 
that completes the required items. So in, in the chat log, um, Zoe will have added the links to the Honor Troop application, as well as the annual troop finance report form. For the additional activities, DAISY troops must complete five additional activities. Brownian and junior troops must complete seven. Cadet senior, ambassador, and multi-level troops must complete nine activities. And again, you'll want to specify the date accomplished in the space provided with, um, with those numbers. So example, if it's March 12, 2021, you'll write zero, not zero five, you'll write zero three, 12, 2021. So the four numbers for the year. Additionally, you'll provide a brief description on how the item was accomplished as well. So for, for the next few items, I'm not going to read all of the all of the additional items, but I'll feature um, several that are popular and give you a few ideas for each of those. And so, um, and I'll just highlight the numbers. So number 18 is the troop has taken at least one field trip um, away from their regular meeting place for journey and or badge work. And so this might be something that you might find on our community collaborators link that we have on the council webpage. And Zoe, I'll put that link in the chat. Um, so we have several community collaborators across the state. What? Okay. And we're going to pause for a question for the moment. Okay, so we're going to actually stop for a moment and go back to the required um, the required questions. And so in number one, and I meant to actually say a few words about number one. Um, number one, if troops start after October or if they have girls join after that September 30th um, uh, de deadline, I guess, um, it's okay to put that in and we have... Um, we have an exceptions question at the very end. And so you can even write that in the exceptions part that either your troop started after September 30th or you had girls join after September 30th. And so it's still possible to earn the honor troop application and still have girls join or have this troop started after September 30th. Okay, Zoe, I think we'll have you hang on until the very end to ask more questions, but we'll do a questions okay. and answer at the end. Okay, good, good question. Okay. Um, so Zoe's going to add the community collaborators link um, on the chat room. And in that uh, Spirit of Nebraska community collaborators, you'll see collaborators across the state. Um, and those are great field trip opportunities to, to participate in. Um, the council's always looking for community collaborators. And so if you have any ideas, you can always email those to marketing at Girl Scouts, Girl Scouts, sorry, marketing at Girl Scouts Nebraska.org. Um, several others um, in that early part of the um, questions are uh, the troop has participated in at least one council sponsored program. Um, the troop also, or the number 20 is the troop has participated in at least one service unit event. And depending on um, the area that you live in, you may or may not have a service unit. Um, if you're looking for um, service unit activities or to see who, who is your service unit manager, um, you can contact your troop support specialist and they can direct you um, to uh, that group. And so what a service unit is, it's a, a, group, of, um, a group of troops in an area um, and those service units will plan uh, their own activities. Um, they'll have meetings um, to support each other. Um, and so it's it's another support system within our within our council. 
Um, number 21 is the troop has participated in at least one activity with another Girl Scout troop because we're a sister to every Girl Scout. And so that's another great way to also make new friends and, and to, to be a sister to every Girl Scout. A few others that might be of interest or, um, or something that the girls really like to get into is is even decorating a store window or a public bulletin board in their school um, or other public area during Girl Scout week, um, which always falls between the Sunday to Saturday, wherever March 12th falls in. And so that's coming up. Um, while we may not be able to do that this year, um, there are some creative ways that you can that you can create to still achieve that goal. This is a year for ingenious, ingenious ideas. Um, a few others are conducting um, at least four flag ceremonies with at least one of them being a public flag ceremony. Again, you know, being virtual this year for most of the year, um, you might find some creative ways to actually do a public ceremony. Um, a few others that I wanted to highlight is uh, number 31 being uh, the troop has completed at least one program on demand. And uh, um, Zoe's also going to post that in uh, our chat log is the link to programs on demand. So the council um, has created this program called Programs on Demand, and you're able to, um, I believe it's $7 per girl, and you can have them mailed directly to the girl. And this is another great actual virtual activity um, that your troop can do virtually and together. Um, and there's several different uh, um, topics that you can pick from. And that's one of the that's one of the honor troop application additional items. Um, another additional item that I wanted to feature was also um, Um, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, was completing your early bird registration for, for this coming 22 year. Um, and so again, um, it also has a deadline of June 30th of 21. And so you'll see that June 30th of 2021 is a popular deadline date. It's the deadline for the annual troop finance report form. It's also the deadline for the honor troop application but it's also the deadline for the early bird um, registration. And so we kind of um, we kind of put that together so that it's it's the same date and it's a helpful, it's all on one date and you don't have to remember different dates to get those to get those done. The one we added for this year, number 40 is the troop participating in a Girl Scout boss themed program or earned um, a financial literacy badge. And so that was something that we added this year that uh, we haven't never added before that, uh, um, that features uh, our theme for the program year. So there are two questions at the end that you'll answer and and, and this is just, it'll give you space to answer in the online section. And number one is why did your troop decide to work toward becoming an honor troop? And why do you feel they are deserving of this distinction? And so that's a nice one to be able to talk about your girls and what they kind of learned and, and, uh, and uh, to just really um, talk about your troop and how proud you are of them. Um, number two is, do you need any exceptions to any of the additional items or even the required items? Um, if so, list the number and describe um, why you need an exception. And so um, that's an important part because um, the honor troop application has a lot of pieces to it and we want every troop to be successful and we want every troop to be able to achieve the honor troop status. Um, also, don't forget to take a picture of your troops so that you can submit that picture online as well. The, the council makes a Flickr album that features all of the honor troops. 
So the most important thing is to have fun with your troop while earning badges, patches, contributing to society with community service projects, as well as a plethora of other activities that makes your troop a well-rounded troop. Before you know it, you'll have completed all of the requirements for the Honor Troop Patch Program. So this time, um, I did also wanna say that Zoe is going to put in the chat room um, a few other links, and one is on um, World Thinking Day. While uh, the link that she's posting in the chat is a GSUSA link, um, we also have, in the spirit of Nebraska, a World Thinking Day virtual program. And so that's also that also can be found um, in our program uh, section of our council website. Um, she's also posting uh, for World Thinking Day, she's also posting the WAGS website. Um, WAGS is the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. And so World Thinking Day is that day where girls remember their Girl Scout sisters across the nation, across the world. Um, and so that's a great, uh, um, a great uh, um, website to take a look at as well. Um, one last thing I wanted to go back over before we before we talk about questions is um, uh, one of one of the requirements also is completing a journey. And so um, if your troop isn't working on a journey, um, that might be something to uh, um, um, to consider uh, even virtually or can um, or uh, participating in the council programs that feature the virtual um, journeys. Um, and so it's just something to consider. Um, and so uh, at this time, I'm going to ask Zoe uh, if we have any questions in the, any more questions in the chat log. Okay, awesome. Okay, so. Um, Um, okay, so um, so I want to thank you so much for attending session six of the Volunteer Enrichment Series. If you have further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your troop support specialist. If you don't know who that is, um, just contact member support and they can direct you to your right person. And so thank you again for visiting with us and have a great evening.